Shouting over a parking spot reignited simmering religious tension. It began when a Buddhist taxi driver said he was abused by a Muslim shop owner while trying to park his vehicle. Rampaging anti-Muslim mobs then burned, beat and killed this week, the worst violence in three months. In Myanmar's Rakhine state, groups of hundreds were roaming the streets, sometimes in daylight, some with swords. In one of the worst attacks, a 94-year-old woman was stabbed to death. One man told Al Jazeera why he joined in. We're doing all of this to protect our religion because we heard that a Muslim man in Sandwe abused Buddhism. In one village, some say police stood by while mobs moved through. Muslims have gone into hiding, some into forests. The police are merely shooting into the air and not doing enough to prevent the violence. But not all Buddhists agree with the gangs. We are all natives of this region. If this violence persists, all the businesses and community here will be affected. But the violence has already damaged communities. The sectarian clashes first broke out in June 2012. Over 200 people have been killed. Thousands of people have fled their homes. President Thane Sein has said that no number of military or police can fully stop the violence. That has to come from the people. He's been criticized for not bridging the sectarian divide in his country, making his first trip since the conflict broke out. The president is in Rakhine this week, hoping a personal appeal will curb the attacks. But it's a battle the former military commander has yet to win. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.